opening week of, of and a half of practice now. How is this linebacker work coming along in terms of scheme install? Yeah, with the scheme, uh, they're doing really well. I mean, we're throwing a lot at them, uh, asking a lot of them, installing every day. They've responded really well. Uh, there's a lot of competition, guys going back and forth. Mike to Will, uh, from ones to threes to twos. Really like cycling everybody through there, and they've done a really good job of that across the board. How have Marlo and Derek kind of stepped up and helped some of the younger guys in that room learn? Yeah, all of the older guys have done a really good job with three new freshmen in the room. Uh, really leading by example, right? showing them what the standard is uh, and holding them to that every day. Uh, Derek said that ZM Mentor Goddard is kind of like a little Marlo in, in the room. Just what have you seen out of him and, and his progression? Yeah, he's doing really well. Um, yeah, we do make fun of him for being little Marlo, but trying to encourage him, like, you're not sitting and waiting behind Marlo for Marlo to leave. Like, go up and take a job right now. Like, go compete. Uh, and he's doing a better job of that every day. Coach, what, what excites you about the 4 2 5 defense? Uh, everything about it. Uh, <laughs> it's really what I've grown up in defensively. Had a lot of success with it everywhere that I've been, um, from my mentors and people that I've worked with prior. Um, when you have good four down rushers that can get to the quarterback and get pressure, right? It really, the versatility of it handles motion as well as a bunch of things like that. Um, yeah, it allows you to be dynamic, move people in and out, and put players ultimately in positions to be successful. What is uh, the, the, the linebacker's kind of responsibility in this defense? It's kind of unique because there's, there's two of them, right? Right, yeah. So uh, I tell them that they're the quarterbacks of the defense. So a lot of things that we run, there's a bunch of different checks. Um, that we have to make different formations, different sets, like splits, adjustments, uh, tight ends, alignments, things like that. They're really the ones who get that across to the entire defense um, and make sure everybody's on the same page. Uh, it's not an easy defense. It's complex. There's a lot of nuanced things to it. Um, right, we can make a call, and, and then depending on the formation that they come out in, it could end up in another galaxy as far as defense is concerned. Um, so just making sure everybody's on the same page, communicating, right, getting it from the field corner to the boundary corner to the defensive line, uh, all the way around the horn. An advantage to have a guy like Marlo in there doing it, but what are even some things he's had to learn? Yeah, um, just from talking with Marlo, like, I don't know a ton about what they did last year. I know there's a lot more layers to this defense um, that's put a little bit of stress on him, but it's the kind of stress that he's, he's really, like, dove into. Um, a lot of the things that we do are preparing him for the next level. A lot of the defenses you'll see on Sundays, uh, some things like that. So he's like all in to learning it. Um, a lot of times when we're installing defenses, there's NFL film that accompanies it, and it's like, okay, here's what you're, you know, here's the Cowboys running, you know, this coverage or this like, let's watch it, how it plays out. So that's really helped with him, like buying in and knowing that this is preparing him uh, for his ultimate goals. Coach, how does it feel to reunite with Coach Robertson and how you guys' chemistry benefits this team? Yeah, it's been awesome. Um, I've said this to a couple of people, like, how, what do I think of Elijah Robinson? I, I got the contract uh, from Syracuse somewhere around noon, and I was in Syracuse, or got it from Syracuse. I was in Buffalo. I was here for dinner. Um, he's a tremendous person. He's a great father. Uh, he's just an all-around really good guy. Um, so with how much we work, when you're coming here for 18 hours a day to come here and be with really good people, that's that's obviously a huge plus. Um, and then his track record as far as playing winning defense, recruiting really good defensive linemen, um, speaks for itself. So I couldn't be more excited to be here. What's something you've learned from <coughs> Coach Brown since you've joined the staff? Um, I've learned a lot of things. Um, let's see, um, detailed in preparation, um, like, just constantly urging and pushing us to be more detailed and prepare for one more thing, do one extra, um, you know, whatever that is, <clears throat> repping out every single person, what rep they're going to be in for 120 plays of practice. Um, really that, I mean, he's taught me so much in recruiting and um, could go into that for a long time, but those are two of the main things that pop out to me. Team had its first scrimmage over the weekend, I believe, yeah. just overall, I mean, what some of the highlights for the defense and what were you most surprised by in terms of what they were able to do? Yeah, highlights were, um, I mean, coming together for the first time and tackling, right? That's something that we that we don't necessarily do unless it's a scrimmage setting. Um, so coming together, right, actually getting the ball carrier on the ground, um, all of those times where it's like, oh, well, I would have done this, but it's my teammate. So, like, putting all of those excuses to the side and, like, really seeing the guys play. And then at practice, like, the coaches are all over the field, like, running out, chasing guys in the football. Uh, so it's always good to see those guys in that a different setting where we're not on the field, everybody's on the sidelines, like they kind of have to bring their own energy. Uh, and 
that was good to see. Anyone that you felt like really stood out or had a strong showing? Um, yeah, I thought the defense as a whole um, played, played solid, right? It's a, it was a good start, but definitely not a finished product. Um, a lot of things to build off of, and uh, yeah. What are some things you would still like to see out of the defense moving forward? Uh, the thing that we talked about most is like communicating. Right, as, as we're you know, playing a defense like this, there's a lot of communication where you got to kind of get out of your comfort zone for some people and like, you know, be boisterous, like make sure everyone uh, on the field has the check. Um, it's like there's no secrets on defense. So if there's something that you see, there's no reason not to let everybody know. Um, so, you know, raising communication and obviously just like not all the way prepared, uh, all the way for to play, you know, 60 plays of a game or however many that looks, so continuing to push the conditioning, running on and off the field. I think you guys probably saw us do a pursuit drill today. I like just re-reminding them of, of what our defense needs to look like before we talk about scheme or anything like that. Coach, how have you seen uh, <coughs> veterans like Morlo and Derek integrate the new guys who were here in spring into the culture that you and Coach Brown want to introduce here at Syracuse? Yeah, I mean, it's it's the veterans across the board, the guys that have been here, the guys that came from other places. You know, Fidel was at Texas A&M with us, so he has a good idea of what this defense needs to look like. And for the main, the main thing is like living up to the standard and then the young guys will see that. And it's like, okay, right, I just showed up to a meeting five minutes early, right, and everyone's already sitting in here with their iPads out ready to go. Like that wears, you know, more than anything that you could tell them, that speaks volumes. Um, so things like that, just Marlo, you know, specifically in my room, he's, a, he's such a good kid and he works so hard, so unbelievably hard um, that when you're a freshman and you come in and it's like, okay, if this kid, Right, is working this hard, then like, how could I not be doing the same? Um, so it's rubbed off really well on him. Yeah, Coach, Coach Al is uh, having all the extra cameras around for the all eyes and shit. Yeah, it's, it's been <laughs> non stop. You like turn a corner to go get snack, and there's the cameras, <laughs> and it's like it's 10 o'clock at night. I can't even relax and turn off at any moment. But it's been good. You know, it's uh, it speaks to where the program's at, that, that the ACC thinks that we're a program that would be out that, you know, that should be out there getting that extra attention and you know the, the hype around the program is real and other people outside of just Syracuse are noticing it so it speaks to us. Thank you. Thank you guys. Thank you.